Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and Action Movie Night. Tonight I will be reviewing Gotcha, released in 1985. Gotcha stars Anthony Edwards, Linda Fiorentino, Nick Corey, Alex Rocco, Marla Adams, Klaus Lewittish, Christopher Rydell, Carrie Lizer, David Wall, and is directed by Jeff Canoe. Now, when this film came out, it was directly following the success of Revenge of the Nerds with Anthony Edwards. And it's the same director who directed Revenge of the Nerds that is directing Anthony Edwards in this film, Jeff Canoe. And it is quite the different film from Revenge of the Nerds. It, in, Whereas Revenge of the Nerds was this sex romp comedy that was just fun, kind of like in the vein of uh, Porky's. This has got a comedic touch to it, but it's more of a serious action style vibe as well. Um, kind of in the vein of something like... Uh, Beryl Hills Cop. And uh, it is very well done. It stars Anthony Edwards as Jonathan Moore. And his character is on the college campus. And he likes to play this game called Gotcha. Which is a paint gun game. Where they run around with these guns and they shoot each other and if you get paint painted you know you uh you're dead you lose so they do this thing all around the campus all the time and uh jonathan is the king of gotcha Dang. gotcha he is good at you know hiding and doing his little thing and wins almost all the time. Very seldom gets defeated in this. Him and Nick Corey, his friend, Manolo, end up going on this trip to Paris where he ends up meeting Linda Fiorentino who calls herself Sasha Banachek. Now, she talks with this broken Russian-English accent thing. And uh, it's uh, not that good of an accent, which is fine in the context of the story because, as it's revealed later in the film, Linda's character is really a character named Cheryl Brewster. And she's a CIA operative undercover as this Sasha Banachek. But um, really, with that accent that she was using, um, it really makes Jonathan look like a complete idiot that he believes that that's her real accent and that she really is this Russian girl. Now you are very beautiful. I know. Great, I just didn't want you to forget. Um, because it is not that good of an accent, um, to be honest. Um, but other than that, I mean, I can excuse some of that, but uh, it's just it's just funny whenever he later on, he goes, you know, she, she drops the accent. Jonathan, I didn't want to use you. Yes, I can. What? What just happened to your accent? Huh? Who the fuck are you? Dude, you could not tell that was fake to begin with? Come on. Um, so, um, Jonathan's parents are a priceless couple in this. They are just fun um, characters to watch in this. They're played by Alex Rocco and Marla Adams. 
And uh, anytime they are on screen, they are just fun characters. Um, and it's funny because Alex Rocco has played uh, more serious uh, characters and stuff. But in here, he's playing the uh, more comical, fun character, playing the father and everything. Now, Marla Adams, I think she's more of a TV show actress. She wasn't really a big movie actress, but she was really good as well alongside the, her and her and Alex Rocco had really good chemistry together working off of each other in the, in the scenes when they're, um, whether they're actually physically with Anthony Edwards on screen or whether they're talking to him on the phone or whatever. I told you about the girl I met in Paris, Sasha. Well, everything was going along okay. I mean, we were having a great time. I bet. Will you let him finish? For this. What's that? It's a roll of film. Put cocaine on my cornflakes. As a matter of fact, I gotta go meet my connection. Jonathan! Jonathan! You get back here! You had to let him go to Europe. This is just a fun film, and uh, the action sequences are well, well pulled off by Jeff Canoe. Um, who you wouldn't have expected it because, you know, prior to this he did, you know, um, Revenge of the Nerds, which was a comedy that wasn't an action film. So, but the action sequences are really well done, you know, so he's, he was good at this game and now he is actually in a real life and death experience where he has to get a real, you know, a, a, a kind of a real gun. He ends up getting a tranquilizer gun to try and take out the uh, um, Russian bad guys in here. So, um, yeah, um, this this is a really uh, fun film. I've always had a soft spot for this one. Um, I love the theme song. Um, it's just so catchy. Um, and it was performed by a British singer named Teresa Bazaar. And she's got that really sexy voice that just makes the song really sound cool to me. Um, I, I really dig that song. I, I enjoyed it in the opening titles and I enjoyed it when the end titles rolled. Uh, but yeah, that's well done on the theme song. Um, and uh, it also includes two other songs in, in on the soundtrack um, by uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, uh, Two Tribes and Relax, which are used really good in the just the right scenes they are played that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's perfect. Uh, how this, uh, this film is just well put together, well made. Um, I really like the characters. The characters are likable. Um, Nick Corey's character of Manolo is a uh, a horn dog character who's getting a lot of women. Anthony Edwards' character is not. So whenever they get to Paris, and Linda Fiorentino's character starts to try and romance Jonathan, it's 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 a new experience for the character because he's not really that lucky with the women. You mean you'd rather do nothing than go out with me? Yeah. You know, like early in the film, he's trying to, you know, ask one girl out and she's... How can I make it up to you? I'll take you to dinner tonight. You are without a doubt the biggest asshole I have ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Of course, uh, I love how at the end of the movie, that comes back and bites that girl. All right, how's your sweater? Get lost, you creep. Right in the ass. But overall, I love this film. I think this is a really fun, well-made film. Aside from that logic error uh, on Jonathan's part, making Anthony Edwards look like a complete idiot for not figuring out that that accent is fake, um, 
this this film is very well done. Um, I will give Gotcha from 1985. I will give this film an 8.7 out of 10. It is a really exciting, fun experience. If you've never seen this film, um, I implore you, find it and watch it. It, it, is, it is just... I don't think you'll regret it. If you like action, comedy kind of films and stuff, if you enjoyed films like um, uh, Beverly Hills Cop, I think you'll enjoy this one. Um, but have you seen this movie? Let me know in the comments down below. But, as usual, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Because it really does help this channel out a lot. All right, so another action movie night in the can. Hope you will join me tomorrow for video game night. And uh, I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.